It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Today, two outstanding middle schools here to play our game. Let's meet them right now. First from Akakeek Academy, making their first appearance in the middle school bowl, we welcome Kevin Crosby, Stephen Thomas Doran, and Shale Hari. And from Benjamin Stoddard, say hello to Taya Lyles, Mervyn Quadera, and Amani Davis. And now, here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green Things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body Systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we range our game board according to the difficulty of the question. If they're easier, they're worth five and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. The end of the two rounds, one of these two schools will come back to play Samuel Ogle for the chance to move on to become the first of our four quarter finalists in this year's competition. A lot at stake. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to the red team. And Stephen, would you try your buzzer for me? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you to sh and to Shale and to Kevin. And over to the green team, Mervyn, would you try yours? It too seems to be in great shape. Good luck to you, to Imani and to Taya. And let's have a good game here. Are we ready? Yes. Let's do this. Let's have a great time. We go alphabetically A before B. So Stephen, let's play the bowl. Give me a category and a number. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points to start us out. Science fairs are so old hat. Now they go by a different name that sounds like a, yeah, STEM. Akakeek. STEM. STEM, yeah, it's, I was gonna say, sounds like a part of a plant. Science, technology, engineering, and math. Nicely done, thank you for your assist on that. Kevin, go red. Science potpourri for 15. Science potpourri for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Some birds and all alligators and crocodiles put their eggs under rotting vegetation in order for the eggs to do what? Benjamin Stoddard. To fertilize. Again? To fertilize. Not to fertilize them, though. Good try. These eggs buried under rotting vegetation. Gators do it. Crocs do it. Some birds do it. It's for what purpose? Akakik. To protect them. Not to protect them primarily, it's to incubate them, incubate them. That's the word I'm looking for. And Mr. Director, could you kill the program in my ear, please? Thank you. Go red. All right. Um, um, uh, excuse me, is it the green t uh, turn? No. Is the green, had you answered the last correct answer? Yeah. No. no, no. It right. So it, it is red. Go, Stephen. Right, um, body systems for 10. Body, body systems for 10 points. Swimmer Diana, Diana Nyad, who tried to swim from Cuba to Florida, had gone 60 miles in the Straits of Florida. She was in salt water for almost 60 hours, and she couldn't talk because what in her mouth was so swollen? Benjamin Stoddard. Gums. Not her gums. She couldn't talk because what in her mouth was so swollen? She'd been in salt water for so long, Steve. Her larynx. Her tongue. Her tongue had swollen. Try again, red. Let's get physical. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, sea salt does not contain any iodine. Mind salt does. It's been added. But both kinds of salt, wherever it comes from, does contain this chemical, which we know is associated with high blood pressure if you eat too much of it. 
Benjamin Stoddard. Sodium. Sodium, that's exactly right. Yes, sodium chloride, the chemical name for salt. A lot of people want low sodium in their diets today. Go, 60 all, tie score, green. Dateline science for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Scientists now think they can develop a new sunscreen pill that is derived from an extract from these stony structures that are the skeletons of polyps under the water. Stephen Akaki. Algae. Not algae, good try. What stony structures that are the skeletons of polyps might be the source of the extract for a sunscreen pill? Clams. Coral, coral, the skeletons of polyps is what we're looking for there. Go again, green. Uh, let's get physical for 15. Get physical for 15 points. Teams, back in the 1960s and 70s, when astronauts launched to the moon, they flew atop a rocket that is named for what sixth planet in the solar system? Akakik. Saturn. Saturn, yeah, the big Saturn V rockets. Yeah, they really were immense and were responsible for America being first to the moon. Go, Stephen. Mm. Science property for five. Science property for five. Potpourri for five points. Your, t your question is as follows. If a skier goes up 55 feet in the air and does five flips and three 360s all at the same time, it is given the same name as what familiar tropical storm? A hurricane. A hurricane. You got that right. Have you done that ever, Kevin? No. <laughs> it's amazing to watch, though. Nice answer, young man. Go red. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15. Body system 15 points. Teams, what paired organs, if they fail, can only be remedied with trans... Can, Benjamin's can, daughter. Can, 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 no. no. It's no. no. Who's answering? Mm -hmm. Who's going to answer? No. Lungs? No. Akakik, what paired organs, should they fail, can only keep a person alive if dialysis or transplantation takes place? Kidneys. Kidneys is the correct answer, yes. Good. Come back, go red. Um, size potpourri for 20. Size potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points, teams. If a scientist is conducting a trial and says, I think that accumulation of neural proteins is what causes Lou Gehrig's disease. In the scientific method, Benjamin Stoddard? Hypothesis. That's a hypothesis, yes. He is guessing at that. Thank you, Taya, for your assist on that. Go green. Oh, the buzzer says you'll just hold that thought. When we come back, you'll ask the first question. But we'll go to our break here with the score right now. Akakik at 95, Benjamin Stoddard at 80. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Diet and exercise are never easy. Then again, neither is dying. Sadly, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke kill nearly a million people a year. Most of these deaths could be prevented. Please, talk to your doctor about your risk for diabetes and heart disease. And if your doctor recommends lifestyle changes or medication, listen. The reason so many die is because not enough are willing to change. You can stop it, starting right now. It's your life. Listen to your doctor. Eat better. Get moving. I always thought being a good mother meant raising my baby myself. But when I got pregnant, I realized I wasn't ready to be a parent. So I did something I thought I could never do. I chose adoption. It was really hard. But I know my baby is with a loving family and has a very bright future. Sometimes choosing adoption is being a good mother. Visit us at ichooseadoption.org. All smiles are not created equal, but animals take what they get. Luckily, you can turn to an orthodontist who has two to three years of specialized education beyond dental school. Visit an orthodontist for a lifetime of healthy, beautiful smiles. You spent years hard at work, building your skills and talents, raising your family, and lately, like me, you're probably feeling a need to help your community. You have the time to give, 
You have the capacity to care. You have the experience to contribute. And your country needs you, one of its greatest assets, Americans whose lifetime of knowledge and know-how will make the difference. So how can you impact the lives of others and change the future of our nation? Take what you learned in the workplace and apply those skills to your community. Shape tomorrow by being a mentor and tutor for children. Make independence a reality for people who need assistance and companionship to continue to make their house their home. Find an opportunity to use your skills and life experience. Make a difference today. Get involved. Science Ball, six outstanding young middle school students playing our game today. Let's find out a little bit more about them. Let's go first to Akakik Academy. We said at the top of the show, this is your first time ever in the middle school competition. We're so proud to have you here. Miss Gladden, I know she's been trying very hard and we're finally happy to welcome her and you. Tell us about Akakik Academy. It's way down in the southern part of Prince George's County, isn't it? Yes. yes. Yeah, nice to have you here. And there's a middle school and an elementary school combined, correct? Right. Yes. That's great. And what grade are you in, Stephen? I'm in eighth grade. You're in eighth grade. And how about you, Shale? Eighth. Eighth. And Kevin? Eighth. You're also eighth grade. Now, you're wearing those gray shirts. Is that part of the school uniform? Yes. yes. Yeah, you guys look really sharp today. You're welcome. Tell me what it is, Stephen, that you really like about Akakik. What do you brag about? Boy, I go to the Akakik, and, and what do you say? Well, this is my first year at the school, and I just think, like, the, um, I just like the school better because of the kids there. There's, like, it's a better environment for learning. Yeah, that's so important, isn't it? Because if everybody thinks like you do and everybody is there for the same reason, it's so much easier to have a good time at school and really make some progress. Who's your principal? Miss Adams. Uh, she's out there rooting for you, and Miss Shonda Wooden, I know, is your sponsor. Was there anybody else who helped you out? Mm, no. What about any alternates on your team, Steve? We have Colin Murray. Wonderful. We'll bring Colin out and Miss Gladden in just a few moments so you can meet, meet them. Uh, Stephen, tell me what you hope to do someday. I want to be a software developer. Software developer. All right. And uh, uh, something tells you you've got a good head on your shoulders. I like how you're playing the game. You're going to be real successful. Shell, nice to have you here. Dr. Bahari someday, right? Yes. Yeah, you want to be a medical doctor. Yes. Uh, what got you interested in that? What inspired you? Well, I really like science, so I was thinking that if I become a doctor, I could be close to science and I earn a lot of money as well. That's very good thinking. After all your hard work, that's a nice translation, a good career choice. And you do something, I'm going to have him tell you about it, very impressed to me, impressed me and our judges here. What do you do in your spare time, Sheila? Well, sometimes I make sandwiches for the homeless in D.C. Yeah, I think that's just uh, just remarkable. And you make you told me peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. And you get some feedback from your customers, right? What do they tell you? They're, they're just really grateful that they they receive they're receiving food. Yeah, you're yeah. making a difference, Shale. Uh, my hat off to you. Keep up your good work, Kevin. Nice to have you here. You were on our show once before. Um. Yeah. What school did you represent? I represent. I represented um, Akakik Academy and um, Henry Ferguson. Henry Ferguson, when you were in elementary school, right? Yes. Fourth and fifth grade. Was it fourth and fifth? Yes. Yeah, yes. nice to see you all grown up here. You're a football player. You look like a football player. You want to be a pro athlete someday? Yes. Yeah. Do you have a backup plan? Well, um, I want to also, if that doesn't work out, I want to be uh, an astronomer or something that has to do with space. I think that's terrific. And let's hope we have people back in space by the time you get ready, because right now our, our space program is uh, uh, kind of more abound. We don't have any shuttles going up there, but that's going to change. Nice to have you back. Benjamin Stoddard, nice to have you guys here. Mervyn, nice to have you back, because you were here before representing your school. You're all grown up, too. You look great. Tell me about yourself. Uh, first of all, who's your principal? Our principal, our principal is Mrs. Garner. Wonderful, and we appreciate her support. And who's the sponsor of your team? The sponsor is Miss Bach. Miss Bach, and this is her first year doing it, and I know how excited she is, and I know she's prepared you very well here. And tell me, I'll ask you what I asked Stephen. What do you brag about when you tell people about Benjamin Stoddard? Why is it a great school? It's a good learning environment, and it has a well-balanced extracurricular activities, and the teachers are nice. Yeah, boy, if you don't have nice teachers, why even bother? Nice teachers and smart teachers and committed and compassionate teachers, that makes it. Tell me about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Uh, I, us I usually play chess and I, I read. Mm -hmm. 
And you, what do you like to read? I like to read uh, fantasy books. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. We all need to kind of step out of the reality realm every once in a while. You're playing a good game. Imani, nice to have you here. Uh, you're an eighth grader? Seventh. Seventh grader. And tell me about uh, your plans for the future. Um, I want to become a teacher, and then I also want to be a journalist. Yeah, and the teacher young lady told me that she's already been writing some and wants to be a second grade teacher, right? Did you have a second grade, grade teacher who really inspired you? Um, well, I kind of want to be a second grade teacher because, like, I don't want to, like, be, like, a teacher where they're, like, older. I kind of like when, when they're younger. Yeah, like the young kids, yeah. Well, you can really make an impression at that age mm -hmm. because you never forget your elementary school teachers. And you're also a singer, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, you sing, and Taya, you sing. Where do you sing? Do you sing in a church choir or a school production or what? Well, actually, I do sing in my choir at church, but when I'm at home, I would just start singing. Yeah. Now, a lot of us sing in the shower, you know, or karaoke, you know, and we can sound like, you know, whoever we want. Uh, what else do you do besides sing? I like to dance and draw in color. That's wonderful. What do you want to do when you get older? When I get older, I want to either take on a career in fashion design or become an actress. Wonderful. Well, you look the part already. You're a beautiful young lady, and you're playing our game well, so keep it up. All right, our score right now, 95 Akakik, 80 for Benjamin Stoddard. Last correct answer came from the green team, so Mervyn, start us out. For 10. Zuprate for 10 points. Teams, practically all spiders can make silk from their feet, but only this big hairy spider can shoot silk from its abdomen. Benjamin Stoddard. Tarantula. A tarantula, yes indeed. They look cuddly, but don't trust them. Go, green. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. This relative of grass is actually 10 times stronger than steel. Benjamin Stoddard. Bamboo. Bamboo, yes. And in Asia, they use it as scaffolding when they put up skyscrapers. That's how tough it is. Go green. They, um, body system for five. Body systems for five points. Before I ask the question, that answer puts you in a lead by five points. 100 for Stoddard, 95 for Akakik. Our question, body systems for five, here it is. If somebody wants you to do something, the saying is, they put a bug in your what? They put a bug in your what, Benjamin Stoddard? Bug in your ear. They put a bug in your ear. They put a bug in your ear. It's just to remind you, hey, I got to do that thing. Thank you for your assist, Imani. Go green. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, an explanation for the reckless behavior of teenagers could be found in the amount of this familiar disaccharide that we eat too much of. Because if you feed it to rats, they get four times more active than they normally would be. Name that substance, Benjamin Stoddard. Sugar. Sugar, that's right. We eat too much sugar. That may be the reason why we do some crazy things when we're young. Good answer. Go. Zuprate for 15. Zuprate, 15 points, teams. You know those cute little sea otters that lie on their back and crack open abalone shells and they have that beautiful fur? They have to eat so much because they have to keep up their body temperature because unlike other marine mammals like seals and whales, they don't have any of this underneath their skin. Hecake. Blubber. Blubber, you got that right. Thank you, Shale. You were right on the money there. Go, red. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, what word that is synonymous with combustion is part of the name of the legendary musical group known as Earth, Wind, and Akaki? Fire. Fire. Oh, I got that in duplicate. I like that. All right, guys, good. Go. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points in the lead. If you get it right, here's the question, teams. Trees that are exudates produce resins and gums that if the temperature and the pressure is right, can fossilize into this substance. Amber. Akakik. Amber. Amber is absolutely right. And with that, you go into the lead. The substance we remember from Jurassic Park where the mosquito was entombed. Go red. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, the kind of tree that was badly damaged at ground zero at 9-11 was brought back in healthy condition. That kind of tree is the same one that's invoked in a Christmas carol where the partridge, Benjamin Stoddard. Pear tree. Pear tree. Pear tree. It's a pear tree, absolutely right. It's a pear tree that is now very revered at ground zero in New York. Go again, please. 
125 to 135, five points behind. Green. Science Popery for 25. Popery for 25. The big one in that category, teams. A new book called The Emperor of All Maladies is about this often deadly disease that is characterized by uncontrolled cell growth. What disease are we talking about for 25 points, Akaki? Cancer. You got it. Absolutely right. 25 points for Akaki. Cancer it is. Go. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points, teams. Multiple choice question. Some jellyfish, because they feed underneath mangrove trees, actually have eyes on the top of their head so they can see the limbs of the mangrove. Since their eyes only admit some light, not a lot of light, are they transparent, translucent, or opaque? Stephen. Translucent. Yes, indeed, the one in the center, just slight passage of light. Opaque is no passage and transparent. All the light gets through. Go. 175, 125. Come on, Mervyn. Get back in here. Steven. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points, teams. 90% of today's mammals are placental. But 160 million years ago, most animals reproduced via the method that is found mostly in Australia only today. What kinds of mammals are they? Marsupials, marsupials instead of placental mammals. Try again, red. Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, the very big ears on these very big animals help to regulate temperature and are used for intimidation. But Dumbo used them to fly. Akaki? Elephant. Elephants is right. Yes, good. Go. Mm, body systems for 20. Body systems, 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. The South African runner, this is a multiple choice question, the South African runner, Oscar Pistorius, runs on an artificial leg because he was born without a humerus, a clavicle, or a fibula. Which of those three bones, Akakik? Clavers. Not a clavicle, no. Which of these three bones is Oscar Pistorius missing because he was born without a lower leg? A clavicle, a humerus, or a fibula? A clavicle? That's the same one they said. Fibula is the name. Fibula is a lower leg bone. The clavicle is up here, and the humerus is in your arm. No points again. Same score, 180, 125, advantage red. Green things for 20 points. Green things for 20. Teams, a tiny plant and a very tiny developing animal go by what same E-initialed term? Akakik. Embryo. Embryo. That's what I want to hear. Thank you, Kevin. Great answer. Go. Green things for 25. Green things for? 25. 25 points, a big one in that category. Teams, back in 1930, the U.S. Congress passed a law where you could get a patent if you developed a new variety of plant, a new kind of rose, a new kind of apple. Benjamin Stoddard? Hybrid. Not a hybrid, that was a good guess though. More for Akakik, since 1930, you can get a patent for a new rose, a new kind of corn, for instance. The only kind of plant you cannot get a patent for is this tuber-propagated plant that is a staple on America's dining room tables. Name that plant. Rose, no, not rose. Grass. Potatoes, potatoes. You cannot get a patent on a potato. Try again, red. Zoo Parade for 25. Zoo Parade for 25. Big one in that category, teams. It was long thought that a hummingbird was able to suck up nectar from a flower the same way that liquids went up the tiny tubes in a plant, both using what kind of C-initialed action? Capillary action. Capillary action. Try again, red. Okay, body systems for 25. Body system for 25 points. Two-part answer, I need both to give you the points. Teams, what two joints are at either end of your radius and ulna bones? All right, Stoddard, you need the points. What two joints? Ball and socket joints. Ball and socket joints. No, no, I need something specific here. What two different joints, two joints, are found at either end of your radius and ulna bones. Akakik, any idea? I didn't see any talk among you. Your radius and your ulna are in your arm. It's the wrist and the elbow. That's what we were after. Okay, no points yet. Again, go. Okay, dateline signs for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, just like a neglected shower stall, the roof of the Superdome in New Orleans is covered with this kind of fungal growth. Akakik. Moss. 
not moss. What kind of fungal growth is all over the roof of the Superdome and you also find it, find it all over your shower stall if you don't keep it up? Mushroom? Mold. Mold is what we're after. Go red. Mm, Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Seems if you got chicken pox as a kid, you're still a kid. The herpes zoster virus will go into remission and could pop out later when you're my age and cause another kind of disease that sounds like a part of the roof. Shingles. 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 Sounds like you're singing a Christmas carol to me. Shingles it is. Absolutely. Good answer. Go. Let's get, Steven. Let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, if you want to find out about physics, watch the new movie called Warrior, Mixed Martial Arts. The guys are fighting and they illustrate F equals MA. Force equals mass times what? Acceleration. Boy, I heard that all over the place. Yes, indeed. Good. Green. Go. Last question of the game. Dateline for 25 points. Here it is. There is a new movie about a disease that spreads all over the world. It's not called infection. It's called this. Benjamin Stoddard. Contagion. Contagion. I can't hear what you're saying. Contagion. Contagion. Say it, Imani. Contagion. Contagion is absolutely right. And that brings us to the end of the game. It looks like we have a winner in Akakik. We'll double check that score and be back with you in a moment. Don't go away. Across America, service learning is helping students improve their grades and their communities. Service learning makes school exciting by connecting the classroom with community service projects. Before service learning, I was just an ordinary student causing mischief during class. After service learning started, I got so involved into it, I started paying attention more, picked up my grades. Hey, very good. Service learning absolutely drives academic success. Working together, students solve real problems, build new skills, and apply their knowledge in a whole new way. The great thing about service learning is it gives you this opportunity to go out into the world and do things hands-on. Inside the classroom and out, service learning opens new doors and brings learning to life. Service learning can make a difference in your school. Visit Learn and Serve America at learnandserve.gov to find out how. I knew I needed help paying for college. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I used to make worksheets for my friends to do. No one ever wanted to come over. My guidance counselor told me about federal student aid, and my mom helped me fill out the free application. I got the grants and loans that made school possible. There is a way to pay for school. You just have to find it. My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Thank you and welcome back to Science Ball. What a terrific game, competitive right to the very end. The very best of Prince George's students on display here. You guys were terrific. We're proud of each and every one of you. Our final tally today is Benjamin Sauter at 175, Akakik 220. Congratulations, Kevin and Stephen and Shale. What a great debut you have made. And back there, say hello to Colin Murray. Shonda Wooden, our wonderful sponsor, and the principal, Judy Adams, up here from Akakik. I know how proud you are. And over at Benjamin Stoddard, Miss Jordan Buck, I know how proud you are of these guys, too. They're phenomenal. Taya and Mervyn and Amani, you couldn't have done any better today. Deja, nice to have you here, too. That is uh, Deja Williams. Thank you for being part of our game, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. I'm Dave Zarin. Bye-bye.